So here we are in the studio again. I'm going to change it again because I want to do some filming with my new Record Power Herald. There it is there. That's the lathe. Funny thing is, I've used this lathe for years now. Demonstrated on it, taught with it. But I've never actually owned one. And uh, I had one from Record when I was doing some work through COVID for them. and But it went back. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy myself one. Because... I've always thought they are the best value pound for pound for money for that size of lathe. So there it is, it's on the, sitting on the Weaver Mac bed there. But I'm going to build a bench over here so as I can start and do some filming, get the cameras rigged back up again. And I'm going to do some short films for YouTube. Bench is built, it's made out of the same material as what the rest of the recording studio is made out of, which is just fencing panel, really, and some old fencing rails there. It's on router mat or anti slip mat, and what I'm going to do is put a cramp on the end of here just to make sure everything's secure. It is solid, and then the lathe can sit on there and the head's boxed in, but it's only held in with about half a dozen screws, so it'll take about 10 minutes to dismantle when I want to use the big Powermatic again. But it'll be ideal for do filming with the Coronet Herald, the small products that I want to film. <laughs> 